No, and we're in the library, so we have to be really quiet, right? Can you all help me with that? Staying quiet? That's the first thing. The second thing, if we see an animal, we're not sure what it is or what it might do. Should we move around a lot? No, so you want to stay very, very calm. And the third thing, should we like get up and run out the door? No, no so you want to stay very still. So staying quiet, calm, and still are the three things I need you to help me with. The next thing, if you have a question or an answer for me, all you have to do is raise your hand, okay? But if I say the word everybody, you can answer out loud. So if I say everybody, what do you do? Answer out loud. So here's my first question. Once again, I want to revisit this. What state do we live in, everybody? Texas. What country do we live in? Cranberry is our city. Good thought. What was it? I heard it. No. What's the country? The United States of America. That's right. So the United States of America is right here. Texas is right here. We're a really, really big state. We have a lot of really, really cool things that happen in our state as far as wildlife goes. And I'm going to share some of those things with you today. Are you ready to see them? Yeah. Okay. When I get this first animal out, if you think you know what he is, all you have to do is silently raise your hand. His name is Alamo, so I want to introduce you to Alamo, okay? So let's see what we got here. Uh-oh, is he in the library somewhere? Oh, no, he's here. Yeah. No, he's right here. Here is Alamo, right here. So raise your hand, and you can tell me what that is. This is a cool thing to look at. All right, Texas has some cool critters. Raise your hand if you think you know what that is. I'm looking for some help out there. All right, partner, what do you think this is? A snake. Very good. This is a snake. How many people think this is a snake? All right, very cool. Now, this is an example of one of our Texas snakes that we have around here. He's actually called a king snake. We have a desert king snake and a speckled king snake. Wait a second. Did you see this? Well, I just turned myself off. I do that all the time. Let's try this again. All right, can you hear me now? Yeah. All right, did you see that right there? What is he doing? Is he sticking his tongue out at you guys? Yeah. Is he being rude? No. Is he saying nanny, nanny, boo, boo? No. no. Okay, so tell me, raise your hand, why do they stick out their tongues? Why in the world would they do that? What do you think? Um, so, so, it can smell. so it can smell. Very good. So everybody do this for me. Everybody grab your nose. Okay, adults too. Come on now. All right, now stick out your tongue. Are you smelling anything? No. Are you laughing at the way I sound? Yeah. Okay, so see? We can't smell with our tongues, but snakes do that. Now, here's the thing. We all said this is a snake, and I told you this is a type of king snake. Now, it's called a king snake because you see the crown on his head right here, right? You see his crown? Is he wearing a crown? No. I know, I know. It's because he's looking for a queen, right? No, it's not that. I know, I know. He likes to eat at Burger King, right? No. So what does this snake like to eat? Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? No. Cheeseburgers? No. no. What do you think he likes to eat? Mice is one thing, but because he's a king snake, here's what's so special about him. He likes to kill and eat other snakes. Everybody show me two fingers like this. Repeat after me. Say, I. I. Repeat your full name. I. Right, every time. All right, we're going to take our two fingers and touch towards the tail. It's not slimy. It's not wet. It's very smooth and dry. So you can get a chance to touch if you want to. You don't have to touch if you don't want to, okay? So just stay seated until I get out there. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us, everybody. We appreciate it.